Hello, you guys. How are you? Thank you so much for your time, your love, your patience, your positivity, your good vibes, just all that goodness. Thank y'all so much. And I give it right back to you. Yes, uh, the intended purpose here today is to see how your, let me change my sign, <laughs> to see how your Virgo is feeling for you, okay? Now, you guys may be in separation, you may have broken up a short time ago or a long time ago, it doesn't matter, we're here to see how they're feeling at this time in October, all right? So, uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. How how does you, your Virgo, Okay. The person watching right now, you're dealing with a Virgo. How is your Virgo feeling about you at this moment? The Virgo that you have in your heart and in your mind, and you can't let them go. How are they feeling for you? Let's get one more shuffle. All right, you guys, if the messages do not resonate to you, please, by all means, do not force it. Okay. So, Virgo lover, <laughs> under the deck, we have shadow work. All right. We've got shadow work. So this is making me feel um, I feel like this really kind of speaks a lot to like maybe the reasons why you're in separation right now or this is talking about the dynamics of the relationship. But more specifically, this card right here may be talking about the maybe talking about your Virgo's feelings. OK, at the time of you guys being in the relationship or at the time of, of separation. But um Man, there's just so much. Uh, there's just so much that your Virgo. I just get the feeling. I don't want to say that they were struggling with. It's just that it was just th there's things about themselves that they needed to acknowledge. Maybe some negative qualities. OK, maybe some qualities that are a little bit overdeveloped. They had to, uh, you know, they had to kind of. I feel like I feel like they kind of had to step into the shadows a little bit more like they needed to kind of conceal themselves to work on those things. OK, to acknowledge those things. OK. Um, I feel like for some of you, you may have thought that your Virgo was being a little bit secretive and that may not have been the case. I feel like your Virgo. Well, to a, a degree, I mean, they weren't telling you necessarily what they were dealing with internally. Right. But. Um, as far as like anything like betrayal or, you know, them like holding any, you know, secrets that would hurt you. Um, no, I don't think that they were dealing with any of that. Okay. Now, also what we have here is we do have divine feminine. We have soulmate and material world. Okay. Divine feminine, soulmate and material world. Okay. I feel like you're Virgo. Um, in spite of the connection with you, in spite of how, um, how strong the connection was, okay. And in, in spite of how devoted they were to you here, you know, um, I feel like they were dealing with some issues of possible self-worth. Okay. Now they, with the divine feminine here, um, it was clarified with the fear card, all right? And with those two on top of each other, this is what I'm feeling like here. I'm feeling like they, um, I feel like there could have been some cold feet. They could have been, they could have been afraid of how close the relationship was getting, okay? Your Virgo, your Virgo was afraid of how deep the connection was getting on top of not necessarily feeling, you know, adequate or up to par, Okay. And they let their fear take over. And they, they had the crossroads here. So it's like, I feel like they chose another path. They chose to go down a different path. Okay. Um, and that path may have included uh, not necessarily you guys being together. In spite of how deep 
this connection is on a soul level with soulmate, okay, and devotion, okay? This could have been a situation where, you know, they were really just afraid to, to commit 100%, even though, you know, the, the connection is strong, but they were just afraid to commit because of just them not feeling adequate, them, you know, having having fears about settling in to a relationship. Um and again, confusing those fears as intuition and choosing another path, okay? So, yeah, this definitely speaks a lot to, um, you know, why you guys are not together, okay? So I can definitely see how they were feeling at the time of separation, okay? Or some of you, you may be in a relationship with a Virgo right now, and this could be how they're feeling in this moment, okay? So... I'm going to go ahead and, and, and see what else uh, your Virgo is feeling, okay, about y'all's situation. All right, let's get one more shuffle. All right, what else is Virgo feeling about the situation? We got the grass wasn't greener on the other side. And we also have... Something is still missing for me, and I'm trying to figure out what that is. Yeah, I think this what this is saying is I feel like this person, I feel like you're Virgo. Um, I feel like your Virgo felt like, you know, dissolving the situation with you would make them feel better, but in fact, it didn't. It made them feel worse because, you know, now they're giving up a whole new relationship, okay? Or they're giving up a good thing, something that could be a great thing. But again, they feel like they're operating in intuition, but they're really operating out of fear, okay? Um, something is still missing for me, and I'm trying to figure out what that is. So your Virgo is still dealing with issues of esteem. I feel like they're still trying to find themselves, or they're still trying to discover their own self-worth, Okay? Um, I feel like, you know, you dealing with this Virgo did a very, very good job of trying to show them their worth. I feel like you saw their worth. You saw their value. You wanted to enter into, um, a committed relationship with this person. Okay. That's how you were following your intuition. You weren't giving into the fear, but they were giving into fear. Okay. Of committal issues. Okay. Am I worth it? You know? Am I adequate? Okay. There's still something within themselves that they were searching for. And they still haven't found it. All right. So let's go ahead and pull some tarot here and see what else we can find out about what's going on with your Virgo. And how they are feeling about you during this time. Okay. Okay. I feel like they're kind of even even though they know that, um, you know, there was an awesome connection with you. I still feel as though they're still searching. They're still out there searching for something right that they won't find. And not to say that they can't find it in you or not saying that it's something that you can't provide. It is something that they have to provide for themselves. OK, it is a certain type of self-love or self-esteem that they have to see. OK, you can tell them you can tell them their worth until you're blue in the face, but they're not going to believe it because. They don't see themselves like that. All right, let's get one more shuffle, you guys. Okay. Mm. Yeah, okay. So we got the King of Cups under the deck. Okay. Excuse me. This makes me feel like they are spending like a lot of time in seclusion. Okay. They are spending a lot of time with their emotions. I don't necessarily feel like they're opening up to anyone about it. Um, and if they are, um, you know, it's, it's, 
it's just maybe one person, but I, I still don't feel like they're really opening up. I feel like they're, I feel like they're secluded at this time. I feel like they are trying to go within and do the work with the hermit here. Um, but with the hangman is like, they kind of are like hesitant to do so. Um, it's almost like they're afraid to deal with them, their inner selves. Okay. Um, that will help them see their worth and help them see, um, that they don't have to be afraid to be in a committed relationship with you. All right. Your Virgo is waiting on something again with the three of wands, your Virgo is waiting on something. Remember, something is still missing and they can't figure it out. But they're, they're, they're sitting here waiting on something. They could be waiting on you to reach out. But I, f I feel like it's more like instead of like going within to do the inner work on themselves, it's like almost like your Virgo is, is waiting on the work to be done. It's like they're going in a little bit, but they're going in so much. Only but so much. And then, okay, now what? Now what's going to happen? You know? They don't find what they're looking for. So, like, they don't go any deeper. This is heavy. This is heavy. Okay? Your Virgo is still out here searching for something. Your Virgo is still out here... Um, looking for their looking for their worth, maybe even in other individuals. They may have been in other relationships since you, and still don't understand that they are not going to be able to find their self esteem in that. Okay. Who, your Virgo has a lot of work to do. Okay. So I don't see y'all getting together no time soon. I'm, I'm just going to keep it real with y'all. I don't see y'all getting together no time soon. But I'm not saying that it's completely impossible. Okay? If you feel like you want to show up for your Virgo, then show up for your Virgo and make the first step. Because they're not. All right? So I'm going to go ahead and leave that there. But let me know how this is working out in the comment box below. Make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe button, and also the notification bell so that you'll be up to date of whenever I post, which uh, I'm trying to get something out every day. Okay, so I'll talk to you later. Bye.